Mohilas, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I decided to do this video here all about the pros and cons of this relationship or this connection, okay? You may or may not be with this person. You could be trying to decide if it's if it's worth it to invest in this relationship or if it's worth it to stay in this relationship. You know, guys, whoever you want to think about it here, okay? Whether you have them or not in your life, it's just about seeing what's the pros and cons, okay, of this connection. Whether you wanted to stay with them or you wanted to just invest and start something or get back together, you know what is the question here for you, whoever you're thinking about, okay? But this is all about the pros and cons. And I hope this helps you out. Like always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, and the timestamp, everything will be in the description below. And, and as always, let me know if this helps you out, if it resonates in any way. Okay, we just have a full tarot decks here. I'm going to just uh, uh, shuffle here with you on camera and we choose the cards here together. And at the end, I also have extra um, cards here for you, just the oracle cards to give like an advice or something at the end. Okay, any anything that you can add on here. Like always, guys, let me know if it resonates, if it helps you out in any way. Consider subscribing if you're not yet. There are many other fun videos here in this channel for you, okay? Pick a cards, week ahead readings, yes or no of the week, and uh, many deck reviews, and anything that you wanted to request, I can add here as a pick a card for you, okay? I'll be happy to get your ideas and put into a video here for you. So let me know, leave me a comment, suggestions, anything. And of course, let me know if this helps you out and resonates in any way. This is going to be group number one, two, and three. And timestamp, everything will be below. And like I said, we're just going to shuffle here together and then get extra cards as well at the end, okay? Let me know if it helps you. Again, group number one, two, and three. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you choose this beautiful deck here. What are the pros and cons of this relationship, this connection? You know the person already. Okay, I'm going to take a few cards here. I don't know which one is going to be pros and cons. I'll see here, okay, the energy of the card. It will come here first. Let me see. Make sure you can see everything. I want an even number of cards just because to have a feeling here of, you know, the pros and cons. Okay. Just check in here straight away. Okay. We're going to see all the cards here together because I'm looking pros and cons. Okay. So we have four of wands, seven of, no, four of swords, seven of wands, ace of pentacles, wheel of fortune, page of swords, four of cups. Interesting. Just having a feeling here of what is going on, okay? Four of Swords, okay? This is like um, a card that is it's asking to maybe have a, a, a break, a relaxed time. So maybe some of you at least are not uh, together, okay? This is like uh, something that you are separated at the moment. There is a break here. Maybe there's no communication. There's some fight, okay? Maybe the... I feel here like the... There was lots of standing up for themselves, like uh, everybody have their own opinion and they just uh, fight because you don't compromise, like seeing the other, the other side, okay? The other one's idea as well of the, you know, seeing someone else's opinion or someone else's um, idea, accepting the other ones, okay? No compromising here. So it was, was I feel like this could be a situation that... Uh, there's a lot of speaking up, okay, maybe in a childish way or speaking too soon or very quick in a way that is not uh, really helpful, okay? Like um, the communication here is not always the best, okay? And there's a lot of focusing on themselves and not so much on the other side. So I feel like the cons here, guys, is really that uh, a bit of selfishness, okay? Could be from both sides or could be from one side, you know, okay? Like always take what resonates. I feel like there could be like, like I said, not accepting the other one's opinion, not listening, not putting yourself in the other one's shoes to see where they're coming from whenever there is a fight. Okay, like really focusing only what you think is right or them. Okay, it could be them. The cons here on, of this connection is really showing that uh, there's a need for, for compromising here. Okay, there's no compromise. There's a lot of thinking I'm right and you're wrong and my my opinion is the right one. In the relationship, there's really a need to compromise here, okay? And I feel that here on the, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? 
this this relationship uh, uh, like can turn around okay there's there's ups and downs here as well so maybe it's extremely good and extremely bad as well so there's some kind of extremes here but the ace of pentacles is showing that uh, you do have like um, that feeling of new okay so maybe this is not a a relationship that you are long together or maybe you're not even together you're just thinking about investing in this situation okay but the, the cons of this relationship we start with the cons so we can finally go to the pros okay to so see the the good side of it but really there will be like a strong heads here okay both sides would be strong heads which is a good thing when you want to, to accomplish something okay so when you wanted to get together and decide something i feel like you two can really accomplish many things together okay things can go really like the wheels can turn around and you can make bad things into good okay but the, it that is strong heads here that uh, don't really compromise easily and uh, focus a lot of what you know what you want it's right like feeling like you are always right okay which like i said it could be strong heads it could be that um, you think your opinion is right and that is like a need to compromise okay this this would be like the the cons really but the pros here i see guys because we all the cards have the positive and negative aspects of them okay together i feel because you are strong heads you can accomplish a lot together, okay? You can stand up for what you believe. You can fight for the relationship if anybody is against you. You can always speak up and very clearly. You can communicate and like be straightforward. There will be no hiding behind your back or any, anybody hiding because you really are clear when you want to speak something. Like I said, sometimes like a page of swords, like uh, very, you know, straightforward with the, with the words or you need to be careful with the words but also means that you are truthful okay it's very honest and straightforward okay i feel like you can accomplish things together okay if you're if you're together or you want to be together for a while you can accomplish like opening doors even money wise for some of you with the ace of pentacles but just opening doors okay you can turn things around you can turn the bad into good okay you you are able to focus on the relationship and not in anybody else i feel like there wouldn't be any issues with like looking at other people or considering you know other 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 person involved here like no third parties here okay this, this would be a relationship that would be focused on the two of you and nobody else they wouldn't really be worried about other people and there wouldn't be any worries you can relax in this relationship in a way like you would be able to trust each other very well and stand up for anything that you can that you needed to do together i feel like you can accomplish so much together okay you can learn together okay you can put your two heads together to learn something and open doors and like i said defend this relationship or defend anything that you wanted to accomplish together you would be able to okay if you put the the heads together you can do so much like i feel like you would help each other to learn to grow and can be really something good here guys it's just um, using the strong heads for the positive i feel here okay it's very interesting because you can you can use for fights but you can use to accomplish something too the wheel here of the fortune really can turn around okay so the wheel can turn as much as you can feel like it's going down you can put your heads together and bring it up okay so i feel like you could go to hardships okay any situation that would be thrown at two together you'd be able to resolve things and get out okay find the light at the end of the tunnel for the situations and be able to accomplish things okay ups and downs wouldn't really hurt the relationship like you would be able to grow with each other okay if you wanted to invest in this relationship okay guys you know uh, like i said take what resonates because you know who you're asking about maybe you're together maybe you are not together but this is a situation that you would be able to accomplish so much together when you put these strong heads together like not for fight because you can if you go to the extreme of the fight you can fight a lot and be childish and speak you know bad things that don't help anybody but if you able to just understand and put yourself in each other's shoes okay and and the compromise listen to the other one you would be able to really accomplish so much in a way that together you'd be able to open doors to get the business together money together help other people that kind of thing like you can accomplish so much more together okay this is a relationship that you would really be helpful to each other to grow to learn a lot 
So it's very interesting here, guys. Like I said, I wanted to get one extra card here, you know, from the power of love. Just like an advice in general could be for you, could be for the relationship. So this one is kind of coming out. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that in encourage others to grow. Very, very connected here, guys. I feel like this is, you could encourage each other to grow here in this relationship okay and if you focus on that side okay of the loving the spiritual attributes that each other have see the good things see where they're coming from when they speak when they're fighting why why something upset each other okay just put yourself in each other's shoes you if you feel encourage each other okay see the good sides that they have uh, focus on the positive you can help each other encourage each other to grow so i really feel like this is a relationship that you could grow together if you want to invest of course but like i said in the the positives and the negatives but if you if you focus on the positive here i feel like you can really help each other it's very interesting here beautiful connection not the easiest but it's like you needed to work together okay you need to speak a lot the communication needs to be up there and you need to be flexible to help each other but it can accomplish so much together i feel like it can really be beautiful when you focus on the positive of each other okay guys very interesting here everybody has positives and negatives of course you know every relationship every every person so if you want to invest in this you know just make sure you're flexible you think about the other ones where they're coming from why something you know bothers them and how can you resolve things together okay this is what i have here for you group one like always let me know if it helps you out if it resonates in any way if it does leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching group number two if you chose this beautiful deck here what are the pros and cons of this relationship okay this is jumpy let's add it here Okay, I'm, remember I'm going to get one extra card as well at the end. I just want to take an even number here so we can see pros and cons. Once I start jumping out, five, six cards at least. And I'll get an extra card at the end as well, okay guys? So straight away we're going to see all the cards, okay? These are the ones jumping. Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, Power. Hermit, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. Very interesting cards here together, guys. Okay, I'll start with the cons. So we see the pros, you know, after. So we see the light at the end. The cons here, guys, I see some fights here, okay? Passionate relationship, like passionate fights, okay? Some really ways here that uh, you would be maybe going too far on fights and stay without communicating, go away, stay without uh, talking for a few days, that kind of thing that you really think like uh, a bit dramatic as well, okay? And uh, people really like uh, speaking their minds, speaking maybe um, without care of the other one. When you, are, when you are annoyed or when you are upset, you really say all the bad things without meaning okay so you don't mean that but you say it anyway just to hurt each other and just to just to win the fight on okay like some strong fights here that uh, like i said they stay without talking go away very very passionate like uh, you know with your own ideas and thinking that uh, maybe there was already if you're already together, maybe there was like endings and, and starting again and going away and coming back. Okay, that thing like it's starting again. The foundation, okay, the it's not uh, it's not very strong in a way that you are building things in, you know, with illusions in a way that uh, you're not really focusing here on what is good. Okay, it's just building up. And uh, like I said, maybe building up things and then fighting and then thinking like this is the end finish the relationship maybe have like i said maybe have broken up and and get back together a couple of times at least for some of you okay guys like always take what resonates but it could be like passionate fights and like the cons would be like uh, really think like this is it it is the end there's no chance anymore go away stay without talking then get back together or you think like you remember that you love each other and then you go back together okay guys there's there's some extremes here this is the problem here like, like i feel like really like uh, when you're angry or when you're annoyed with each other 
you don't think about anything else you just go to the extreme straight away so they, they, they need, there's a need for balance here okay so what i see here like i said like staying without talking this is this is a, a problem okay staying away not wanting to hear from the other one but this is like a, a way just to see things from a different perspective here as well okay guys because every card has the positive and the negative okay when we see things like the five of wands the fight and the, the passionate fights the way to to resolve that kind of thing the pro the way around here it's really stepping out okay being able to to see things from a different uh, perspective in a way like step out if this same issue for the fight the reason that you started fighting to begin with if this was a situation that was going on with someone else would this be something that you really think is worth fighting for like in a way is it is it worth fighting for this simple thing it could be like focus okay there are even reasons to fight there are things like you needed to to choose here pick and choose your battles because there are things that are no need and no reason to fight okay maybe you're focusing on small things simple stupid things when is it needed to focus on the more important things i feel like you can accomplish so much together with this ten of pentacles this is beautiful here when when you see the pros here what you can what you can do okay with this passionate um heads and relationship okay i feel like you can do so much okay with the passion because you i feel like you love each other so much that you go to the extremes okay or you can love okay in case you don't have this person you can get there but remember you can avoid this if you if you're not with this person or even if you are okay if this is what's going on so far so you can avoid this you can just like i said pick and choose your battles there are things that are not worth fighting and in, in a way that uh, you can just talk a little bit more you need the communication here like the king of swords the communication needs to be really clear but with love okay it needs to have the passion of the queen of wands like you can use this passion you love each other you or you can love each other very very much uh if you're not together if you're just thinking invest in this relationship it can be a really passionate relationship and you can communicate really well when you sit down when you when you step out of the situation when there's something that bothers that can cause a fight if you step out and you just analyze is it worth fighting for this or can we communicate okay the communication has to be really really strong here guys in this relationship because the the you have this passionate side that can cause fights okay but there is no need really when you when you put the communication in the first place here and really sometimes you do need to step out and breathe okay this is like i feel like breathing and stepping out and thinking what else you can do in and then go back and talk okay there is a need to really um we organize here the way of thinking before speaking okay there is really a need to to think twice before coming out with words that you can regret or things that can hurt each other you know when the, you go too far when you don't actually mean i feel like there's a lot of words that come out that there's no need okay there's like no meaning you don't mean that at all but to speak anyway just to hurt and there is a need to really focus okay if you love the person there is a need to focus on that love first before speaking because there is a beautiful love connection here you can see the family the abundance the real connection here of the family here maybe if you don't have but you could have like a family and kids together okay you can accomplish that uh, family life you can really accomplish peace here whichever the the family life okay the that represents for you okay it doesn't mean always kids for everybody but it means like that peaceful that the connection with the other one okay guys you can accomplish very much together here like you can even be very stable money wise you can accomplish very much together here when you the communication is there okay i feel like you would have to for some of you if you're already together if you've got you have gone so far you'd need to rebuild okay like the tower here but rebuild this with the solid foundations okay guys with communication with love the passion that is good for you to build this so and let go of anything that is not serving here anything that is just words that have no meaning there is no need to be there this is really what it's about here it's about really building okay the foundation is strong with the love with the communication and you can actually build a beautiful tower here together like the ten of pentacles okay like i said very much uh, stable okay happy with accomplishments with uh, your surroundings everything that you're building and growing together i feel like you can really grow together here guys if you are already with this person if you just wanted to invest in this relationship it's up to you of course guys but i'm saying like this has a, a future okay this has a beautiful future 
when you focus on the right things, okay, like communication, the passion, the love, like stepping out of a situation, thinking before you speak, okay, you can build up a beautiful foundation here, okay, and really let go of anything that is not serving, and you can, I feel like you can have a beautiful future together here, it's very interesting here, I feel like you can accomplish very much together, okay, like a family life for some of you, like a long-term relationship secure, when you focus on something really positive here, on the positive the communication and everything that you, you have, I feel like once the foundation is, is really built together, and uh, you know, focus on the right things, you can really accomplish so much. I think this is a long-term relationship that you can accomplish here, guys. If you focus, you know, if you if you really focus on the right things here. And like I said, I was going to take extra card here, okay? I want to take from the power of love, just anything else that it could be for you or for them, okay? Willingness, okay? You are able to compromise if the end result is love. Very, very much together here, guys. If the end result is love, okay, you it's okay to compromise, okay? Be willing to compromise in this case. When there's a fight, they be willing to like think twice before speaking and analyze here the situation, okay? What is worth fighting, okay? And fight for the relationship, not for the fight itself, okay? It's not for winning. If the end result is love, it's okay to compromise, okay? sometimes just communication is everything so i feel like this is a beautiful card here to end and connect here guys remember here this beautiful uh, card here the ten of pentacles i feel like you can accomplish something really beautiful together i feel like you can really focus here and build this foundation and this relationship this long-term relationship if you want okay guys i feel like this is definitely long term for for some of you if you wanted to invest okay like i said it may be already with this person for a while and you have gone so far but if you wanted to focus on this side okay you would need to focus on the communication and you'll be able to accomplish so much this is what i have here for your group two okay let me know if this helps you out if it resonates in any way and like always, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. And as always, I wish you a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Group number three, if you choose this beautiful deck here, you know who you're thinking about already. Pros and cons of this connection, this relationship. Got a few cards here, okay. And I'll take the extra card as well at the end. Pros and cons of this connection. Take an even number here just to, to have pros and cons even. Okay, we have the Emperor, Death, War, Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Interesting here, guys. Don't worry about death cards, okay, guys? That's just death, rebirth. Okay, I don't mind that at all. We are looking positives and negatives of every card. Okay, guys. Okay, with the emperor here, guys, I'm going to look at the cons first. Okay, and then we see the light at the end of the tunnel with the pros. Well, the, the emperor here, it could be, really, guys, it could be your side. It could be both sides. Okay, someone could be really a strong head here, like uh, not moving from their position, thinking they are right, and uh, in a way very secure of like uh, what they want okay like they think that they're right and this is like um, strong head okay really really fiery person that uh, you'd be kind of intimidated to to go close and to fight okay so i feel like um, you, you're avoiding fights here i don't think that are like passionate fights or anything because i feel like uh, one of you or see each other at least like someone who it's really strong and uh, you wouldn't have the courage to to be honest and approach, okay? And uh, be completely honest with each other because this is like a strong head or jealous or really like decided in their mind what they want, okay? So you try to avoid, I feel, like uh, some issues and then you just don't speak at all or you don't fight at all. You just avoid things, okay? And... Um, just uh, I feel like there's lots of avoiding to to not fight or to not cause trouble. You're trying to like uh, uh, move away from any issues and um, 
Yeah, you see someone like uh, they really in a pedestal. I feel like you could see like someone who they accomplish so much. Maybe they they are accomplished person, or maybe you is someone who is popular, or someone who has so much already going on in their lives. So you will be you're looking them up, okay, more than they should, okay. Putting them in a pedestal, you're not putting yourself to the same level, which is not really right, okay. It's a relationship, and uh, I feel like some of you could be. Thinking about or afraid of the relationship ending and moving away, okay? Or it could be some fear of how uh, things could end if you fight, or you know, like uh, in that way, like feeling afraid of confrontations because you just don't want this to end and you see them so high in a pedestal, or you know, or maybe they think like that for you, okay? Maybe there are things that they want to speak and just just avoiding, okay? There's some things here that need to work here, okay, guys, for some of you at least, okay? And it could be like uh, money-wise as well, maybe you're dependent of them or they depend of you, okay? There's some kind of codependency here that uh, it's really not helpful in this in this situation, okay? Or you could, I feel like some of you are already together, okay, for a while or you could have been and that was the reason you you ended okay there was some i feel like there was some kind of ending at some point okay maybe you go back together or maybe you're, you're not together anymore and you're just thinking about this relationship because i feel like with the six of swords and the death card i feel like there was some kind of ending at least at some point for some of you maybe you're back together and maybe not okay but this is like i see like you or they they someone put the other each other in in a pedestal like you you are not feeling like you were in the same level of communication so you were just avoiding things i don't think there was like there could be fights here and all but i i felt like it was more avoiding than anything like trying thinking about moving away or afraid that the other one would move away okay guys but this is like the the negative of this of this situation okay if to look up the positive okay what can be done if you're always if you're still with this person you want to invest or if you want to get back together or if you just wanted to start with this in this person okay guys the positive here i feel like you can really restart okay there is like the death card is like a death and rebirth there is a need to leave things behind and focus on the good things that you two have together can have together but it can be it has to be a completely like a new like a rebirth okay a new way of communicating a new way of treating each other a new way of seeing this relationship because the four of ones the fours are really like um, a balance okay guys there, there is a need to have the balance okay and there is a need to celebrate each other and help each other and uh, there is a way okay for you if he it means the two relationship is a relationship right so it's the two sides if you two wanted to work on this or get back together or you know just start a relationship you will need to celebrate each other to see what the good things that each other have okay and help okay it needs to be that back and forward that uh, balance okay there's a need to bring more balance and celebrate what the, the other one has to offer okay to this relationship helping each other and to grow as well i feel like uh, there's a need that you cut away things that uh, they were really not serving or they don't serve if you start in this relationship, like like putting the other one too high or thinking that you're not on the same level. That kind of thing. When you cut these things away and you really focus on celebrating each other, what you have to offer to each other, how can you grow? How can you help? Okay, you can really accomplish so much together. I feel like you can open doors together. You can really be some kind of model to others of how you can restore a relationship okay like i feel like there would be like like i said death and rebirth in a way that you are cutting away things like the six of swords moving away from things that really didn't serve and things that don't serve it could be if this is a new relationship that you're thinking about someone completely new it would be something that you would need to leave behind from your previous relationships, from anything from your past, okay? To really focus on the relationship, celebrating each other, helping each other to grow. But if you're already together, guys, and there were like all these things going on, you will need to cut away to be able to move forward, okay? So like It's like a rebirth of the relationship. It has to be something new, a new phase on the relationship. Or like, like say, getting back together if you're not together in a completely new phase, okay? It has to be a rebirth in a way like 
like meeting each other again, like uh, finding the good things that you, you all have to offer, okay? Learning to understand each other and communicate again. I feel like it is, it's really a death in a way, like completely new phase. You're going to really need to let go of things that didn't work here because the things that you needed to really sit down, have a real conversation here and be able to see like this didn't help and you can really focus on the positive. It really has to be... Um, back and forward like a, a balance okay and uh, there will be really a need to focus on learning about each other again i feel like you will need to really enter a new phase here like uh, like you're meeting each other again for the first time okay getting to know what you like what you don't like you know what the other one what are the strengths the weakness this this is like um, not the easiest okay guys but it can really rebuild and when you rebuild when you're actually working together here to rebuild you can really leave things behind and open some beautiful doors here i feel like the ace of pentacles is representing a beautiful door six of wands could represent that celebration could be the wedding that you're trying to get okay it could be that you will get to that point okay but there will be a need to focus first and leave something completely behind like uh, something completely dead and rebirth, okay? Focusing on each other, on that balance. Like I said, for some of you getting married, celebrating each other, okay? The balance, restoring the balance back here. Because I feel like it's completely, or it was completely, or that's the con of being out of balance, okay? But the pros here is that together, you can really accomplish so much here, like uh, like a future together. Like I said, the open doors of the Ace of Pentacles, the celebration of the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands, like celebrating as well, and like uh, uh, even marriage, weddings for some of you. Okay, guys, like really building something together here. But this is something that you really needed the two parts really working hard. Okay, guys, if this is a situation that you are not together anymore and you, you will need to see the other one needs to do the work as well. Okay, both of you really needed to work hard here. Not that the, any relationship is only one side, but sometimes one needs to work harder than the other at some point. But in this case here, both of you needed to really work hard together and together you can open doors. You can really accomplish things together and you can really move forward and have some kind of a serious secure relationship like i said the marriage for some of you at least uh, having that security okay you need that restored here very interesting i said i was gonna add the extra card here guys i wanted to add here from the power of love could be an advice for you or for the other one or for the two of you you know and the same trust here okay you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition Okay, guys, trust. And this trust, I feel like it's trust in your intuition, okay? Trust the intuition here to what you needed to do here in case you want to invest in this relationship or not. And trust your intuition, okay? What is your soul loving voice trying to tell you here? Have faith in that voice, okay? To do the right thing, to speak the right words, to really go into the right direction here that you want okay but guys remember the two parts okay if the two of you can find this balance together you can really accomplish and go to something very stable here okay but uh, def definitely some work to be done but you have both sides of course everybody every relationship have these positive and negative sides so if you want to focus on the positive you can accomplish so much together okay guys this is what i have here for your group three let me know if it helps you out if you're resonating anyway and like always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching